Girls, today I'm going to teach you how to take the literally test on a Chromebook or a computer. It's a little different if you have an iPad. If an iPad, you're going to go in on the app. On a Chromebook or a computer, you're going to go into the website. So, right now, I'm at literably.com, and I'll have the link in Google Classroom, but it's up here in the URL. And when I get to this page, it might be a little confusing because see how it says sign up? and sign up. You're like, which one do I do? Well, you already have an account. So you're going to go right here where it says log in. So you're going to click right here where it says log in, and you're going to log in, and it's going to take you here. Since you're a student, not a teacher, you're going to click on the I'm a student, and where it says username or teacher email, you're going to put your teacher's email in here. So I'm your language arts teacher, so you're going to put my email in here. So my name is M. I, and you don't have to capitalize it, C-H-E-L-E, -E, with one L, dot, so a period, K-M-A-K, Michelle dot Kamak, at, don't forget that at sign, L. Now that is an L, that's not an I, that's an L, so even though it looks like a capital L on the keyboard, it's an L. Um, it'll come out as lowercase unless I shift and make it capital, but it's not supposed to be, it's all lowercase, L. M for La Mesa, SV for Spring Valley, SD for School District dot net. And watch, did you see what just happened? When I got, when I typed it all incorrectly, then right here changes and it says choose name. Because everybody's name in the fourth grade at LMAC is here. It's so exciting. And you're going to look for your name and I'm going to go in as demo student right now. So let's pretend like that's my name. I'm pretending to be a kid. I'm Mr. Demo, Mr. Student, and I'm going to log in. And when I log in, literally wants to use your microphone. So yes, give it as many permissions as it asks for, okay? So allow it. Now the first time I ever went to this page as a demo student, all of this writing was whited out. I couldn't see it. If that happens to you, don't freak out. I think what's going on is they don't want you to see the reading before you click the start to tape yourself, to record yourself. So, um, but since I've already been to this page, I think it opened up for me again. But yours probably won't. My guess is yours will be all whited out. And you're not going to necessarily have this passage. This passage is just a random passage it gave me. Your passage will be leveled for you. So depending on where you were the last time you took it. So if you were in our district last year, it'll, it'll level you. It'll take you to where you were last year. If you are new to our district, it's going to start you at level Q, which you don't really need to be until November, which is pretty close, but you don't need to be there till November. So I might end up having to give the brand new students to La Mesa Spring Valley maybe one or two more tests after this just to see what level you're at. Because literally, literally is just going to see how you read out loud and how you answer questions. Okay, so that's all it is. So now it wants to hear you read this whole passage. And you're going to click Start. And you're going to start reading. So polio. The first polio epidemic swept across the United States in the summer of 1916. In 26 states, more than, and as you read, if you make a mistake, it's okay. If you really get flustered, you can stop and restart but don't try not to do it like a whole bunch of times literally doesn't like that and I can tell that you are probably having a hard time because of that so just just you know don't worry if you can make a little mistake here or there it's not going to really make a big difference in your score okay so don't feel like you have to be completely perfect I do want to remind you to kind of slow down and read all the little words in here because sometimes kids will be rushing and they'll say then instead of van or from instead of of. You know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, so you're going to read everything, and it's going to time you as you read, but don't worry about that either. I don't care. What I'm looking for is accuracy, how well you're reading. Then two things will either happen. It'll let you get all the way to the end of the passage, or it'll say, okay, you're out of time, and you're not going to freak out. You're going to go, oh, okay, I'm, but I'm going to keep reading the passage because I need to know what happened in the passage because I'm going to be answering the comprehension questions. 
So then when you're all done, you're going to come up here where it says stop, and you're going to stop it. And then you can, you can listen to yourself again if you want to. You could record yourself again if you really hate it and you want to record yourself. Oh, by the way, speak kind of loudly like I am. Try not to whisper. If you whisper, it, it'll make you do it again. It'll tell me, oh, I couldn't even hear it, and I have to have you do it again. So may, do a nice big voice. If you're embarrassed at home, go in your closet or something, you know, but make sure you're using a nice big voice. Then when you're all ready, you're going to click this button, comprehension, and the questions come up. These, there are five comprehension questions. Right here is a little speaker. It'll read them to you. How did cities respond to the polio epidemic? And it'll read you the question choices. They encouraged people to wash their hands. So whichever one you think it is, you want to just click. You can click on the sentence or the little circle next to it. Um, either way, they will take your answer. See right there? I'm just guessing because I didn't read the passage. I don't want you to do that at all. And also, let me just tell you something. If you're like, which is not one of the signs of polio infection? Oh, I remember that was in one of the paragraphs. You can return to the reading, look for it, go back up here to comprehension, and then answer to answer the question. I think that was the wrong one, but I have not even read the questions. Okay, now, if you've gotten to the end of this video and you're on this page, you're in for a treat. I do not make you do this part comprehension where you tell as much as you can about what you learned in the text you just read. You do not have to type in here anything. It's okay with me if you don't. I just want you to read and answer the five comprehension questions. That will give me enough information about your reading. So when you're done, you're going to, I'm done, log out, you're going to click down there and it'll say no retail. Are you sure you want to log out without retelling the, the reading? And yes, you say yes. I don't want to log out. And then you are done. It takes about a day to three or four days, depending on the time of year, for me to get your scores. I will let you know how you did. Do not stress. It's the beginning of the year, and you lost about a third of the year last year. So please do not stress about your scores. It just gives me an idea of who might need some extra help or who might need some extra fun reading things to do because you are Zooming. So we're going to find out, okay? Okay, so if you have any questions, let me know.